Vivian, where the heck did you go? Hi, Mom. I'm going out to get some coffee with my friends today. What? Vivian, I'm very disappointed in you. You haven't done anything to prepare for our family summer vacation. You're such a lazy and incompetent daughter-in-law. You should be embarrassed by yourself. Hazel, I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. I've already booked the flights, the hotel, and the car rental for the trip. I've also packed our bags and made a list of things to do and see there. What else do you want me to do? Don't lie to me, Vivian. You've done nothing but sit on your couch and watch TV all day. You're a waste of space and a burden to my son. Jacob works so hard to provide for you, and you don't appreciate him at all. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hazel, that's not true. I love Jacob, and I'm grateful for everything he does for me. I also work from home as a freelance writer, so I'm not just lazing around. I contribute to our household income and our savings. Moreover, we were planning on trying to have children right after we got married. That's why I decided to work from home and focus on raising our baby. Where's the baby then? You guys have been married for over a year and you're still not even pregnant. Don't make me laugh, Vivian. Your so-called work is a joke. You write some silly articles for obscure websites and get paid peanuts. You're not a real professional like Jacob. He's a successful lawyer who earns six figures a year. He deserves better than you. Hazel, please stop insulting me. I'm proud of my work and I enjoy writing. It's my passion and my talent. Jacob supports me and respects me for it. He doesn't care how much money I make. He loves me for who I am. Well, he shouldn't love you, Vivian. He should love someone who is worthy of him. Someone who is smart, beautiful, and fertile, who can give him children and a happy family. For example, his ex-girlfriend Lisa. <laughs> Hazel, how dare you bring up Lisa? She cheated on Jacob with his best friend and broke his heart. She's a horrible person, and I'm glad he dumped her. He's much happier with me now. Oh my god, really? Listen, Vivian, he's not happy with you. He's miserable and trapped with you. He only married you because he felt sorry for you. He told me himself. That's a lie, Hazel. Jacob loves me, and he married me because he wanted to spend the rest of his life with me. He never said anything like that to you. Yes, he did, Vivian. He told me that he regrets marrying you and that he wishes he could divorce you. And he hates you and that he wants to get rid of you. Stop lying, Hazel. You're just trying to hurt me and break us apart. Jacob would never say those things to you or to anyone else. He loves me and he's loyal to me. Well, too bad for him then. Because I'm not going to let him stay with you any longer. I've decided that you're not coming with us on our summer vacation. I've already called the hotel that we're planning on staying at and canceled your name off our reservation. What? But I've already paid for everything and packed our bags. I was the one that made all the reservations for the trip. Too bad for you then. You can stay home and clean the house while we have fun without you. And I don't want Jacob to have to waste his precious salary on taking a useless woman like you with us on vacation. I also don't see you as a member of my family either. This is a family vacation that we're planning to go on. You can't come either way. I didn't know that you thought about me like that. I am your daughter-in-law. So you're telling me that you made me make all the reservations for this trip? And now you've canceled just my name off the reservation? Yeah, that's what I did. A housewife like you should stay at home and clean the house. That's one of the only ways that you can be of any use. Jacob, we have to talk. It's urgent and I need your backup. This situation is incredibly frustrating and hurtful. Your mom just texted me and told me that she removed my name from the reservations that I made for our family vacation next month. Can you believe it? She explicitly told me that I'm not welcome and should just stay home to mind the house. It's utterly unfair and hurtful, considering that I was the one who planned the entire trip and took care of all the bookings. Should I call the hotel and tell them to put me back on the list? Why would you do that? Wait, what? I just told you that my reservation got cancelled. Yeah, 
I already know about this. My mother told me earlier today. What are you trying to do by adding yourself back to the list? That makes no sense at all. I thought this was supposed to be a family vacation. I don't want to be left out. It wouldn't be fair if I'm the only one who doesn't get to go. My mom went through a lot of trouble to get your reservation canceled. I think we should respect her decision. So you're basically telling me that I can't come on this family vacation. Even though I was the one who planned the trip and booked everything? This just doesn't make sense, Jacob. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Jacob, I can't believe you could say that to me. You're supposed to be my husband, right? You should be on my side. You should be trying to persuade your mom to let me come on this trip. I know that I'm your husband. I'm also my mom's eldest son. I think I'm going to have to side with her on this matter. I really love my parents, after all. She also has a point. You're a pretty useless housewife. I can't believe you're really saying that. You were the one who asked me to become a housewife for you. I quit my dream job and chose to work from home because you told me to. I kind of regret doing that now. You always come home late at night lately. I'm stuck in the house with your mom all the time. Well, you should be thankful that my mom is willing to spend some time with you. What are you talking about? You know how she treats me, right? She always treats me like a servant. She's also constantly nagging me about when I'm going to get pregnant. How am I supposed to get pregnant when we haven't even slept together for over six months? Why do I have to get blamed for not being pregnant? You really need to be quiet. You can be so irritating sometimes. I'm really exhausted from having to work all day. I don't have the energy to listen to your whining. Can't you just sort this out between yourselves? Just talk to my mom about it directly. I'm not asking you to fix this for me completely. I just wanted you to listen to me. I'm supposed to be your wife, aren't I? This wouldn't be a problem if you just did what my mom tells you to do. Wait, what? That's your solution to this? To just do whatever she says blindly? As long as you do what she says, she won't get angry at you. Besides, my mom is always right. She's never wrong about anything. Have you ever considered that maybe you're the one who's in the wrong? I can't believe you're really saying this. I've done everything for you. I've sacrificed everything for you. I've given up my dream career, my friends, my hobbies for you. And this is how you repay me? By siding with your parents and leaving me alone? Knock it off, Vivian. Anyway, make sure that you don't come on the family vacation with us next month. My mom gets in a bad mood whenever you're around. Instead, you can use that time to clean up the house while we are away. I'm so shocked, Jacob. Do you even see me as your wife? Well, my mom always calls you a worthless and jobless parasite. Does that mean you think that way about me too, then? I think we've talked about this enough already. Please try to get along with my mom better. And don't drag me into your troubles. Okay, fine. I get it now. I won't bother trying to go on the family vacation with you guys either. Hazel, I hope that you're having a good time on your vacation. How is everything going? I'm surprised to hear from you. I thought you would be too busy cleaning the house. <laughs> We're having so much fun on this vacation, by the way. I think it's mostly because a certain someone isn't here with us. We don't need a stranger like you to join us. Make sure that you clean out the entire house while we're gone. Hazel, I'm glad to hear that you're having fun. I'm also enjoying my time alone. I've already cleaned up everything, literally. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Yeah, the house no longer exists. Wait, what did you just say? I did tell you that your house is gone now. You guys can figure out what to do by yourselves. Why are you suddenly telling me weird lies like that? There's no way our house is gone. What do you even mean by that? Did you move out or something? Yes, I have moved out already. Did you not realize that I was packing up all my belongings from last week? I guess you were gathering up all your belongings for some reason. You never told me that you were planning to move out, though. Does this mean that you're finally going to get a divorce from Jacob? Yeah, that's what I plan on doing. 
I've already filled out my half of the divorce papers and mailed it to his company. He can fill it out and hand it in the next time he goes back to work. I also sent all of your belongings. Wait, what? Why do you need to do that? I thought that you were moving out of our house. Why was there a need to send my belongings? Are you not listening? I told you the house is gone. That house we lived in used to belong to my parents. It was left to me by my father, who bought it before he passed away. What? It belonged to your parents? The house was given to me when my parents passed away. It was my property. My father put it in my name, not Jacob's. Do you not remember me telling you about this? I guess you were saying something along those lines. I had completely forgotten about it. The house is under my name. I am the rightful owner of it. You are the one that moved in without my permission after I got married to Jacob. It was supposed to be my house, but I didn't feel at home at all. I felt like a complete outsider, thanks to you. None of that matters right now. What's happened to the house? I really liked living there. I wanted to cut ties with you and Jacob completely. I decided to sell the house. I have too many bad memories of you in that house to continue living there. You sold the house? No way! I've left the rest to a real estate company. They were helping me find a potential buyer. I sold the house to a nice couple who offered me a great price. They're moving in next week. You'll have to find another place to stay when you come back from your vacation. So that means we really can't go back to that house anymore? You guys can't go back. It's not my property anymore. So it would be trespassing. Now that I think about it, you tried to kick me out of that house so many times. It was my property, and you still tried to do that? That was all just a joke. I never would have really kicked you out. I really think that you should think about all this again. It's not a good idea to sell that house. Also, why are you getting a divorce? Did you even talk to Jacob about this before deciding? He told me that he didn't mind if I got a divorce from him. I really wanted to get a divorce, so that's why I decided to go through with this. I really didn't want to spend any more time with a mother-in-law like you. I also knew that he was cheating on me with his boss's wife. What a huge piece of trash. Wait, what? Jacob was cheating on you with his boss's wife? Yeah, he made me stay home and look after you while he was sleeping around with other women. He would either come home very late at night or the next morning. I barely even saw him at all. I thought that he was working overtime. That's why he was coming home late at night. There's no way he was working any overtime. He wasn't getting paid for any overtime work. It was all just a lie. You don't know that yet. Actually, I do know that he was cheating on me. I have proof that he can't deny it. I have his phone records, credit card statements, hotel receipts, text messages, emails, photos, and videos. I've already decided that I'm going to divorce him. I have no intention of changing my mind about this. I've also sold the house that we all have to move out. You should be grateful that I packed up all your belongings for you. I was even nice enough to send some of your belongings to his boss's house. Wait, what? You sent some of our belongings to his boss's house? Yeah, I thought it would be a nice surprise for him and his mistress. Maybe they can use some of our stuff to decorate their love nest. I also sent a note explaining everything to his boss. I wonder how he's going to react to this. I wonder if Jacob's going to be able to keep his job after this. He's going to need a lot of money in the next few months because he will have to pay me the divorce settlement and alimony. Besides, he's also going to have to pay for a new place to live in. Rent in this neighborhood isn't going to be cheap. You guys were lucky that you didn't have to pay rent while you lived in my house. What are you planning to do then? Where are you planning to live? You must be in a terrible situation too. Why do you think that? Your current job salary is so low. What are your plans for the future? I really think that you should think this through again. All three of us are going to be in a lot of trouble if you go through with this. It would be better for all three of us if we tried to continue living together in your house. You don't need to worry about me. I have plenty of income. I actually own a few other properties in the area. Wait, what? I invested most of the money I inherited from my parents into real estate. I have a few properties that I'm renting out, and that gives me a stable source of income. I got some advice from one of my friends who's really good at investing. I had no idea about any of this. Anyway, you don't need to worry about me at all. I have a decent source of income, and I've decided on a place to live already. I'm really looking forward to starting the next chapter of my life without you guys. It feels like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders already. 
On the other hand, it looks like you and Jacob are going to have a very difficult life ahead. I hope that you guys enjoy this family vacation as much as possible. It's going to be a while before your next one. How can you say that? How can you be so cruel and heartless and throw away everything we had together? How can you ask me that? Vivian, please stop what you're doing and think about it first. I told you that I can't live with my daughter. She has three children and they all live together in a tiny apartment. There's no room for me there. And Jacob might not be cheating on you. It could all just be a huge misunderstanding. I really don't think that you should go through with this divorce. It's a bad idea. I also don't want you to sell the house. I think we can talk about this and figure everything out. I'm sure that we can get along well in the future. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to get along with you. I absolutely hate you. I only have bad memories with you. I don't think it's possible for us to ever get along. I have absolutely no intention of ever seeing or talking to you ever again. You don't need to go that far. I never treated you that badly. Actually, you did treat me very badly. I think that I have every right to cut ties with you completely. I was the one that planned and reserved everything for the vacation that you're on right now. I can't believe you decided to take my name off all the reservations. You must have a really terrible personality to do that. I guess I went a little too far. I still think it's wrong to sell the house and move all my belongings without telling me. All your belongings are in safe hands. I asked a moving company to pack and transfer all of your and Jacob's belongings. I'll be asking you and Jacob to pay me back for this. I got a really good lawyer. She says I can get plenty of alimony on top of the divorce settlement. Please, stop what you're doing and think about it first. I told you that I can't live with my daughter. I want you to go and talk to Jacob about all this. I don't think that you guys need to get a divorce. I am definitely getting a divorce from him. He's a piece of trash that cheated on me and ignored everything that I talked to him about. There's no way I'm going to stay married to him after all he's done to me. I just told Jacob about everything that you said to me. You should have received some calls from Jacob. I think that he wants to talk to you. Yeah, I received some calls and texts from him. It seems like he had totally forgotten that I was the owner of the house. It also seems that he wants to stay married to me so that he can keep living in that house. What an idiot. I can't believe I even got married to him in the first place. I really think that Jacob regrets everything that he did to you. Everyone makes mistakes from time to time. I think that you should give him a second chance. A piece of trash like him doesn't deserve a second chance. Hazel and Jacob were filled with panic when they realized that they had no one to go back to. They both came to me and begged and pleaded with me not to sell my house. They both apologized to me profusely, saying that they were sorry for everything that they had done to hurt me. But it was too late. I had already made up my mind. I was determined to divorce Jacob and sell the house that we lived in. I had already shipped Jacob's belongings to his secret girlfriend's apartment. Jacob's secret girlfriend was none other than his boss's wife. Jacob had been sleeping with his boss's wife whenever his boss was away on a business trip. He had lied to me countless times, saying that he was working overtime or going on a business trip himself. His boss happened to be at home when Jacob's belongings arrived, and he was furious when he saw them. He opened the boxes and found clothes, shoes, books, photos, and even a ring that I had given to Jacob as a gift. He realized everything that had been going on between his wife and Jacob. He confronted them both and fired Jacob on the spot. He also told everyone in the company what Jacob had done. Rumors about what he had done had spread around the company and all his co-workers shunned him. They called him a cheater, a liar, a scumbag, or worse. It seemed like it was only a matter of time before Jacob would quit working at the company or get fired again. Jacob and Hazel still haven't found a place to live either. They had no money, no friends, no family, no support. They had nowhere to go and no one to turn to. Who knows what they were going to do to fix this mess that they had created for themselves. Hey Jen, I'm so sorry about dinner last night. Not your fault. 
I know it's not, but I absolutely hate how mom treated you. I'm used to it by now. Look, I know she's living with you, so you have to stay on her good side. But she has always been the source of all my problems. She's the reason my self-esteem is at basically zero. So, I've decided that I can't see her anymore. What? But what about me? When will I see you? Not while mom's around. Let me talk to her. If I can get her to apologize, will that help? Apologize for how terrible she was at dinner, or apologize for the lifetime of neglect? Either way, it's not going to work. I finally have a good job and a good boyfriend, and I can't let mom derail that with her constant insults. Sorry, Sally. I'm done. Please. I don't want to lose you. I can't kick mom out because she has nowhere else to go, but I don't want to lose my sister either. Sally, I love you. But you can't possibly understand how much that woman has demolished my self-esteem. She's my mother, too. I know how you feel better than anyone. Do you? Come on, Sally, even you know that's total BS. She doted on you all our lives while I was the one who was always too fat and too ugly. Do you remember what she gave you for your eighth birthday? What does that have to do with anything? She gave you a new bike, the exact model that you asked for. And do you remember what she gave me for my eighth birthday? Nothing, because she forgot. And when you reminded her, she got all pissy and drove us to Denny's for my birthday dinner. Do you remember that? Yes. And she wouldn't even tell the waiter it was my birthday because she didn't want them to give us a free ice cream. Yeah, I know, that's terrible. She's terrible. She's terrible to me, Sally. She's the perfect mother to you. I wouldn't say that. I mean, she's living here rent-free. And when I came out, she refused to even look at my girlfriend until I forced her to invite her over. Yes, but she got over that pretty quickly. And her reaction to Kate is nothing compared to last night. As soon as I mentioned Richard... Well, you were there. Honestly, Sally, I'm finally feeling good about myself. I finally have my life together. And any interaction with Mom is just going to make me spiral backward. You understand, right? I do. And I'm sorry. It's not your fault. And I know you don't actually like having her in your house, but for now... I'm going to have to keep my distance, okay? Fine. But I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Hi, honey. I'm at the supermarket now. Is there anything you need me to pick up? You're shopping? Just a few things. With what money, exactly? I still have your card, remember? Mom, please don't buy anything. We're fully stocked here, and I'd rather do the shopping myself. Of course, dear. I'm sorry. You've been such a blessing in my life, and I don't want to seem like a leech. Thank you. Also, there's something I wanted to talk about. Over text? Uh-oh. What do you mean? Oh, honey, you know you're not good at confronting things. Like last night at dinner, you barely said a word when the conversation got heated. I know that if you need to tell me something serious, you'll do it over text. It's cute, really. You're such a kind person that you can't do face-to-face -face confrontations. It's one of the reasons I love you so much. So what's the big drama this time? Is Jen continuing to make bad choices? Mom, Jen said she doesn't want to see you anymore. Which means I won't get to see her while you're around. Oh, what a shame. Is that all you're going to say? Honey, you heard about Jen's poor life choices lately. I think it's probably for the best that we cut and run. Mom! She's your daughter! How can you be so casual when she says she wants to cut you from her life? Were you even listening when she told us about her boyfriend? Of course I was. I'm happy for them. Happy? Sally, she's dating her boss who is 15 years older than her and married. No daughter of mine is going to sleep with a married man to get a promotion. First of all, Richard isn't her boss. He's the head of a different department. 
And Jen is amazing at her job. She thinks she'll be promoted by the end of the year, and then the two of them will be equals in the company. Right. And he has nothing to do with her promotion. He's from a different department. And second, he isn't married. He's been divorced for six months now. Hmm, he got a divorce after they met, right? She had nothing to do with Richard's divorce. And who are you to talk? You've been married three times. Exactly. And each time ended because of another woman. I know harlots when I see them. Are you calling your own daughter a harlot? And who even uses that word anymore? Sally, you only see the good in people. It's a wonderful skill, but it's also extremely damaging. You can't see your sister for who she really is. She's using Richard to get a rich husband and a good job. You know she's only successful because of him. She's successful because she works hard. She's better off than I am. Don't say that. You know I'm prouder of you than anything else in my life. Including Jen? Well... Yes, including Jen. Mom, I can't let you treat my sister like this. Not if you want to keep me in your life, too. Not if you want to continue to stay with me. What are you saying? I'm saying that you need to apologize to Jen for everything. You need to get over all your wild assumptions and finally be a loving mother. You need to treat Jen the same way you treat me. Is that really what you want? Yes. If it means keeping both you and Jen in my life, then yes, I need you to get over yourself and make amends. Is that clear? Mom? Absolutely. I'll send her a text. No, you, me, and Jen are going to have a do-over dinner tonight. We're going to talk through all these issues and finally be a family again. Okay. Thank you. And don't spend any more of my money, okay? Sorry, I'm in the checkout line right now. Jen, please talk to me. I thought you understood where I was coming from. I do, and I don't accept it. What? I don't accept that our family is so irreparably broken that we have to stop seeing each other. I love you and mom. And I can't just sit by and let us all drift apart. All throughout childhood, I kept quiet when Mom was very obviously playing favorites. I should have said something then. I should have defended you. But you're my big sister, and I felt so awkward. And I literally can't handle this kind of confrontation. But I have to now, because I can't lose you. Okay. Okay? Really? Great! So come here for dinner tonight. Is six okay? It will just be you, me, and Mom. We have a lot to talk about. And if it doesn't work out, I'll understand if you want to go no contact. But we have to try. Is that acceptable? Yes. Great! If Richard can come too. What? That's my deal. I'll give Mom one more chance, but only if she meets my boyfriend and accepts that he's in my life. Okay. I accept those terms. Thanks. You're still not home? No, I had a few more errands to run. Okay, but I will be checking my bank statement tonight. I hope you're not spending any more of my money. Of course not, dear. Do you need me to come home and help prepare dinner? No, I got it covered. Just be here at six. Of course. I wouldn't dream of missing it. And I wanted to give you a heads up. I know, I know. I'll be on my best behavior. I'll make sure that Jen thinks I love her equally. Yes, that's important. But also, I wanted you to know that Richard is joining us for dinner, too. Richard? You better not change your mind about coming to dinner. Does he have to come? Yes. Jen says that's the only way she'll agree to give you a second chance. And trust me, you'll like him. He's very funny. You've met him before? Yes, several times. He acts much younger than he is. Really, he's a great guy. And even if he wasn't, it's not your place to say anything. You met him and you didn't tell me? Mom, you're still coming to dinner, right? 
Six o'clock. I'll be there. Any other nasty surprises I should know about? See you at six. Mom, where are you? Dinner's ready. Everyone else is here. Sorry, honey. I'm running late. It would have been nice if you told me before. When will you get here? Soon. When? So Richard is there? Yes, we're all waiting for you. Let me guess. Is he sitting next to Jen? Does he have his arm around her? Is he leading the conversation? Are you outside watching us or something? No, I'm just guessing. I know his type. Mom! Sorry, but I'm right, aren't I? I am not in the mood for this. Tonight is your last chance. And where are you? I'm close. I'll be there soon. Be here in the next ten minutes or we're done. You can pack your bags. Fine. You're still not here. Mom! I'm sorry, honey, but I'm not coming. What? It's okay. It's okay if I lose Jen, and I know I'll never lose you. I thought I made myself clear. This is your only chance. If you bail on this dinner, I'm going to kick you out. You're forcing me to side with Jen, and I don't want to side with anyone. I just want us to be a family. I know you do. And I know you won't kick me out. You'll never turn your back on me, no matter what you say. That's why you're my favorite daughter. Sally, are you still there? Seriously, Mom? Jen is crying in the other room, and Richard is comforting her. They're seconds away from leaving. What the hell? Hi, dear. What is your problem with her? How could her own mother treat her like this? Do you really want to know? Yes! Answer my question! What was the question again? How could you treat Jen like this? Because I'm not her mother. What? I should have told you this a long time ago. I'm sorry I didn't. You're my daughter, and I love you. But before you were born, your Aunt Kathy got pregnant. She was sleeping with her boss. When he found out that she was carrying his child, he fired her and ordered her to stay away from him. Obviously, she couldn't raise a baby by herself. She was single and jobless. So I volunteered to help. Aunt Kathy is Jen's real mom? Yes. And she didn't die in a car accident like I told you. She died in childbirth. To protect everyone, I took in the baby as my own. Oh my god! That explains why you never treated her the same way you treated me. Honey, I treated you both equally, even though you were my favorite. Don't lie to yourself. You never saw Jen as a real daughter, did you? Well, she's not. Not biologically, but you raised her as a daughter. She deserved a mother just like everyone else. I tried, okay? I tried to love her the way that I loved you, but I just couldn't. And now she's following in her real mother's footsteps. Sleeping with her boss, making terrible decisions, she's going to end up just like Kathy. None of this is her fault, Mom. You lied to her since she was born. You lied to both of us. To protect you? And a lot of good that did. She spent her life thinking that her mother hated her. If you took on the responsibility of raising her, you should have treated her like a daughter. I tried my best. You're sure not trying your best right now. You need to come here before she leaves and explain everything. I can't. I'm sorry. I'll see you in the morning. I'm so sorry, Sally. Richard and I couldn't stay there any longer. Clearly, Mom wasn't going to show up. Wait! I was just texting her! Too late. I know you tried, but obviously this family is more broken than you thought. You're right. It is. I'll miss you. Come back, please! There's something you need to know about Mom. I think we know enough. Please. I need to tell you face to face. 
You know you can't handle face-to-face -face conversations. Fine, I'm just going to say it. Mom said that she isn't your real mother. She lied to us all our lives. Your real mom is Aunt Kathy. She died during childbirth and Mom took you in and pretended you were her real daughter. Jen, are you there? I'm here. I guess Kathy had an affair with her boss. Which explains why she's so freaked out about how you and Richard met. Richard and I didn't have an affair. I know. But Mom's viewpoint on everything is so warped that she sees what she wants to see. So all my life, I thought my mother didn't love me. But in reality, I never had a mother at all. I am so sorry. You never deserved any of this pain. Well, I guess that explains everything. Bye, Sally. Wait! Please, come back. You still have me. Do I? I'm not even your sister anymore. I'm your cousin, I guess. No! Blood doesn't matter. You'll always be my sister. I'll always be here for you. It's too late, Sally. <laughs> Jen? Jen! Sally, honey, I apologize about last night. I decided it would be better if I stayed with a friend. But I'm back now, and I'm having trouble getting into the house. I think there's something wrong with my key. Sally? I changed the locks. What? Mom, I'm only going to say this once, and then I'll block your number, okay? You aren't my mother. Did you misunderstand me last night? I am your mother. I'm just not Jen. No, a real mother stands by her children, biological or not. You never stood by Jen, even when she needed you most. And I never said anything because I was always afraid of hurting you and putting even more strain in our family. I'll live with that regret my whole life, but I'm finally going to do something about it. You are not welcome in my house anymore. And I will not think of you as my mother. That's ridiculous. Sally, you're being irrational. I know you love Jen and you're blind to her flaws, but don't be angry at me. Be angry at her poor decisions. She's following in Kathy's footsteps and she's going to end up just like she did. Her only poor decision was loving you. And thankfully, she doesn't anymore. Neither do I. You can't do this to me. Where will I go? I don't know. Maybe go back to whatever guy you hooked up with last night. Stay with him. Oh, and I checked my bank account. You spent more of my money than I realized. So I've canceled that card and I'm keeping all your stuff as payment for everything you owe me. I hope you understand. No! Let me in! Sorry, I can't. I'm with Jen and Richard right now. We're celebrating a new start. It's a little celebration. Family stuff. Obviously, you're not invited. Mom tried to contact me dozens of times after that, but eventually she got the hint and stopped trying. Ironically, she ended up staying with her cousin in another state, but the last I heard, she burned enough bridges there to be kicked out. I'm not sure where she'll end up, but it won't be with me. The relationship between Jen and I is better than ever. We're still sisters, and it's taking us a lot of time and therapy to deal with decades of resentment and jealousy, but we talk to each other almost every day. Honestly, I don't think I'd have had the strength to finally stand up to my mother if Jen hadn't forced me. None of this would have come to light if I hadn't been afraid of losing her forever. And as for Jen and Richard, they're engaged now. Their wedding is in the fall, but I've been helping out with most of the planning. Jen is a bit busy with her new promotion. I love my sister, and I couldn't be happier for her.